In this tutorial, I will be building off the previous one in which I discussed alert dialogs and how to create them. Over here, I'll discuss how to change the icon, add neutral buttons, and change other things. So over here, I have my alert dialog, which is going to be launched and shown every time the user taps on the button. In order to change the icon that's being displayed, I'm going to use my alert dialog.builder object and say builder.setIcon. And if I do command P, you can see it requires the drawable. So I'm going to say r.drawable.icon. An icon is a PNG file that I drag and drop from my laptop into Android Studio. It's basically the IG Apps icon. And if you don't know how to add drawables, you can check out my tutorial on that. But this would just basically set the icon shown over here to the IG Apps logo. The second thing I'm going to do is change, I'm going to add a neutral button. So I'm going to say dot set neutral button. And the current message I'm displaying to the user is are you, described, are you subscribed to IG Apps? And they have an option of yes or no. So I'm just going to set this one to maybe, I don't know, IDK. And now I'm going to have to provide a dialogue interface or on click listener. And if they say I don't know, then I'm just going to make a toast telling them to subscribe. So I'll just say subscribe. And this will just create another button alongside these other two. And it will say IDK and when it's pressed, it will display this toast over here. The third thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the builder, the alert dialog to not cancelable. So by default, alert dialogs are cancelable and I'll um, explain what that means. So over here I have the app and when I click on press me, uh, oh yeah, over here you can see the IDK button. When I press on it, it dismisses the alert dialog and says subscribe. But another way that the user can dismiss the alert dialog is just by clicking outside of it. Maybe I don't want that to happen because the user may accidentally tap outside or I'm displaying something important and I want them to actually press one of the buttons and th the button is the only way that they can dismiss it. So the way that I would do that is by saying builder dot set cancelable and it requires a boolean as a parameter. So right now by default it's true. I'm going to set that to false. And now when I run this, it's going to make it so that the user cannot tap outside the box and they'll get dismissed. So if I tap outside, you can see I'm tapping outside over here. It's not dismissing. The only way I can dismiss it is by saying IDK uh, or one of the other two buttons. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to set an on dismiss listener on your builder. So just like you have on touch listeners for buttons, you also have an on dismiss listener that gets activated or triggered when the user is going to dismiss the alert dialog. So to do that, you just simply say builder.set on dismiss listener, you on dismiss listener, and then we can create a toast saying that the dialog was dismissed. Now I'm going to run this. When I tap on the button and I uh, click no, it's going to show the sad face because the user is not subscribed, but it also says the dialog was dismissed. And the application of this could be that maybe you have an app and you're displaying a bunch of dialogues to the user because it's the first time they're using the app. So you're displaying some information about what the app does and how to use it. And you have multiple dialogues. So what you can do is when the user dismisses the first dialogue, then you can go ahead and create the second dialogue. And when the user dismisses the second dialogue, you can go ahead and create the third dialogue. And you can use these on dismiss listeners to detect when the user dismisses the alert dialogue, either by pressing the back button, pressing outside, or pressing the yes, no, or IDK buttons. And these are some of the basic attributes of alert dialogues that you can change. In future tutorials, I will cover how to change the layout to your custom layout rather than this default one over here. And I'll also show you how to use a progress dialogue with a progress bar. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned until then. Happy developing from IJ Apps.